Hello everyone, welcome back to your mat. Today we are going to do a short and sweet practice to kind of get out of your mind and into the body. So let's start right away in child's pose. So bringing your fingertips, your hands to the top of the mat and sinking your hips all the way back down to your heels. You can keep your knees together or place them a little wider apart, sinking your belly in between, reaching down to the mat. And here you can place your forehead onto the mat, rocking that third eye back and forth, releasing any tension that may have gathered in your mind today, in your body. Take an inhale, part the lips and sigh it out. <sighs> Let's take two more. Inhale, fill up the lungs to completion. Part the lips and sigh it out. <sighs> Last one, breathe in. Part the lips inside out. <sighs> Sealing the lips back up. Take an inhale. And with your exhale, walking your hands to the right side of the mat, stacking the left hand on top of the right. Take a big breath in and empty the breath out. Next inhale, walks your hands all the way over to the left side of the mat, stacking the right hand on top of the left. Take a big breath in, belly reaches down to the earth and empty out. Next inhale, bring your hands back to center and roll up into your tabletop position. So from here, we want to make sure that we have our wrists, our elbows, and our shoulders aligned. Hips are right stacked above the knees. Next inhale, brings your chest forward, tailbone tips up to the sky for cow pose. With your exhale, push through the palms, round through the spine for cat. Breathing in, reach your heart space through those shoulder heads. And with your exhale, push through the palms and round through your spine, focusing on that exhale. With your next inhale, open up through the heart, tip the tailbone up to the sky. Now with your exhale, come into cat pose, but exaggerate it a bit by coming up onto the finger tops, really reaching and spreading through that back body. Coming back down onto the palms of your hands, tuck your toes on your right away and push into downward facing dog. Make it a bent knee down dog. So really reaching the chest towards the thighs and take a big inhale. With your exhale, straighten through the knees and through the legs and begin to pedal out through one heel at a time, reaching the heels down to the mat, stretching through the calves. And adjust in your downward dog in whatever way feels good for you. I like to lift, lift up one leg at a time to kind of hear any cracks or any pops that may have gathered there throughout the day. Any tension releasing it. Finding some stillness here. Take an inhale. Gaze comes to the top of the mat. One tiny toe step at a time. Walk your feet in between your hands. Heel toeing the feet wider than hips distance. Grab opposite elbows and let the crown of the head reach all the way down to the mat. Maybe you rock side to side here. Let the head get heavy. And our intention here is to release whatever feels heavy in the body. So maybe you feel it in your hamstrings now. Can you release your head and release whatever doesn't serve you for the rest of your day? Next inhale. Release the arms down to the mat. Heel toeing the feet back together. From now, take an inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins. Long spine, crown of the head reaches to the front of the rim. With your exhale, melt the chest down to the thighs, maybe reaching the fingertips down to the mat. Two more. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches. Exhale, folding, feel the hamstrings light up. Last one, full breath in, long spine and empty melt back down to the earth. Next inhale, root to rise, fingertips up to the sky, tall mountain. And with your exhale, swan dive down to the earth, not rushing the exhale, be in your body. Take an inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, plant your palms and step back to your high plank. Belly button into the spine. Take an inhale, push through your toes, rocking your chest forward. And with an exhale, pushing back through the palms, stretching out the calves. Stay in your plank. Inhale, come slightly forward. 
exhaling push back last one inhale push slightly forward and exhale into your plank breathe in and with your empty downward facing dog next inhale take your right leg long hip squared exhale bring that right foot in between your hands bring the left knee down to the mat coming into your low lunge so release the top of that left foot and bringing your biceps by the ears, pinky fingers slightly in. From here, the shoulders kind of reach up to the ear, so can you allow the scapula to melt down the back body? Make sure that the right knee is stacked on top of the ankle. From here, take a breath in, growing through either side of the body. And with your exhale, bring the left arm forward, right arm to the back of the mat for a little twist. Breathe in to open up. Exhale to stay. Next inhale, come back to your low lunge. Breathe in, fill the lungs. And with your empty hands to the inside of that right foot for low lizard lunge. You may need to heel toe that foot a little bit wider to the outside right edge of the mat. Take a breath in. And with your empty, maybe you come down onto your forearms or down to a block. You're welcome to open up through the right hip. Maybe taking slight movements here to just welcome in some sensation into the hip flexor. Maybe you feel it on the outside of the glute. If you've lost your breath, breathe in and empty out. Next inhale, come back up onto long arms. Right hand to the outside of the right foot. We will walk that toe back to the center of the mat. Tuck the left toes under. Lift up through the left knee. Gaze to the top of the mat. Left foot meets the right top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift, long spine. Get back into your body. Exhale, fold, focus on the breath. Inhale, root to rise, tall mountain. Feel your spine and the crown of your head elongate. And with your exhale, swan dive back down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step back to your high plank. Stay here for a moment. Inhaling, chest forward, just like we did at the beginning of the practice. And with your exhale, melting all the way down to the earth, so you can come all the way down, activating the triceps, or bring your knees down to the mat. Wherever you are, come all the way down, bring your hands underneath of your shoulders. Inhale, peel your chest up, your heart space opens. And with your exhale, melt back down to the earth. Take two more flowing here. Inhale, fills your lungs, open up through your heart. Exhale, melting your chest back down to the earth. Last one, inhale, lift, and maybe come into upward facing dog. Really opening up through the heart, lifting the thighs. Gaze over the right shoulder. Come back to center with an inhale. And exhale, gaze over the left shoulder. Coming back to center. Melt all the way down to the mat. Tucking the toes under. Push back into your child's pose and downward facing dog. Inhaling left heel long. Exhale, bring it through in between your hands. Making sure that we have alignment with the knee and ankle. Bring the right knee down to the mat. Inhaling to your low lunge. And again here, the shoulders may see Sneak up to the ears. Relax your scapula down the back body. Breathe in. And now with your exhale, right arm comes to the front of the room, left arm to the back of the room, twisting out whatever doesn't serve you in your spine, whatever feels tight and heavy, be in your body. Next inhale, open up and empty. Inhaling back to center. And with your exhale, hands to the inside of that left foot. You may need to wiggle walk it over to the outside left edge of the mat. You can stay on long arms here with an inhale. If you'd like with your exhale coming down onto your forearms or to a block. Again, like we did on the other side, maybe you open up through the left side by dropping the knee to the left side of the mat. Being aware of yourself in your body. Notice where the mind goes and bring it back to your breath. Breathing in so deeply that the belly expands down to the earth, staying in your body, emptying out the breath. Next inhale, come back up onto long arms. Bring that left hand to the outside of the left foot, wiggle walking it back to the center of the mat. Tuck the right toes under, lift up through the right knee. 
Right foot meets the left, top of the mat, moving into sun salutation A's. Inhaling, halfway lift. With your exhale, fold, light up the hamstrings. Root to rise, biceps by the ears, tall mountain, stay in your body. Exhaling, swan dive or samasiti, he hands in prayer, all the way melting back down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step or hop back to your high plank. Now you take your chaturanga, lightly melting down to the earth to about 90 degrees. If that doesn't work for you, come down to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Again, taking your time with your breath. It may look different than mine. Let's take two more rounds of sun salutation A's. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, step or hop, feet in between the hands. Inhaling a length of the spine. Exhale, melt fingertips down to the earth. Root to rise, biceps by the ears, tall mountain breathing in. And with your exhale, surrendering down to the earth, fully exhaling out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back, plank. Move through your chaturanga, whatever that looks like today. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, step or hop, feet between the hands. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches. Exhale, fold, stay in your body. Root to rise, inhale, tall mountain, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, surrender down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back, move through your chaturanga. Inhaling, open your heart for upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Inhaling, extend that right leg long. Exhale, bring it through in between your hands. Inhaling up now to high crescent lunge. Keep that left knee lifted, making sure your right knee aligns with the right ankle. And from here, let's take an inhale, clasp through the thumbs, spreading through the fingers, breathing in maybe a little back bend. And with your exhale, hands on either side of that right foot. Right foot meets the left plank. Take your chaturanga or skip it. You're more than welcome move into down dog. If you're with me, inhale upward facing. Exhaling downward facing dog. Right away, inhaling left heel long. Exhale, bring it through in between your hands. Whenever you have a need angle alignment. Inhaling high crescent lunge. Sink into this pose. Just like we did before, hooking the thumbs together, fanning out the fingers. Maybe with your inhale, you open up through the heart in a little back bend here. With your exhale, hands to either side of that left foot. Left foot meets the right plank. Stay here. Breathe in. And with your empty, rotate to the outside right pinky edge of the right foot, moving into Bashi Sasana side plank. Left arm reaches up to the sky. If this is too much, come down to the knee. Engage through the core, belly button into the spine. Stay in your body. Breathe in. And exhale into plank. Breath in. And with your empty, rotate now to the outside pinky edge of the left foot. Right arm goes up to the sky. Lift the hips up. Feel the strength in the belly. Don't forget to breathe. Stay in your body. Breath in. And empty back into your plank. Breathe in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes long. Right knee to right tricep in your plank. Pause and squeeze. Inhale, extends that right leg long. Stay in your body. Exhale, come through. Meet your knee to your nose or to your lips. Give your kneecap a kiss. Inhale, extend that right leg long. This time, exhaling across the body to the left tricep or elbow. Stay here. Extend that right leg long. And here we'll get a good stretch in the IT band. If you want a little bit more here, bring that right pinky toe edge up to meet the right pinky finger. Breathe in and empty. Breath in, stay in your body, feel the sensation. 
and empty out. Last one, breath in and release the breath. Next inhale, brings that right knee into the chest. Extend that right leg long. Bend through the right knee and open up through the hip. Maybe take a few circles here, clockwise, then counterclockwise. And when you're ready, bringing that right foot back down to the mat. Take a breath in for a cleansing. Part the lips, sigh out any heat in the body. Breathe in. Lift that left leg up and back. Exhaling right, left knee, excuse me, to left tricep. Pause and squeeze. Inhale, extend the left leg long. Exhaling, bring it through center. Pause and squeeze. Maybe you tap your nose to your knee. Inhale, extend the left leg long. This time, exhaling across the body to the right elbow or tricep. Pause and squeeze. Just like we did on the other side, extend that left leg long. And here again, you'll feel an opening through that IT band and the left side, the outer edge of that glute there. Feeling the sensation in the body, staying here. The mind will wander, come back again and again and again and again. Last breath in and empty. Next inhale, bring that left knee back into your chest. Extend the left leg long. Bend through the left knee and open up through the hips. Take a few circles here, just like we did on the other side. And bringing that left foot to meet the right. Inhale and gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, step or hop, feet between the hands. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, mountain fold. Inhale, biceps by the ears. Breathe in, tall mountain. And with your exhale, right hand comes down to the right thigh. Open up through the left side body. Inhaling biceps by the ears. This time emptying so that the left hand comes down to the left thigh, opening up through the right side. Inhaling back to center. And exhale, surrender all the way down to the earth. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips paint the earth. Heel toeing the feet wider than hips distance. From here, toes out, heels in. Breath in, and with your empty sink into your Malasana squat. So elbows into the knees, hands in prayer, thumb knuckles into the heart space. If this is too much, stay up high here and just open up through the hips. Feel your feet rooted down to the earth and take a sway here if you'd like with your full inhale and full exhale. And again, where is the mind going? Can you bring it back to this space? Can you come back to your body? Can you focus on each exhale, releasing whatever feels heavy? Can you release what you don't have control of? Can you breathe in so deeply that the lungs fully expand, belly expands, and empty all the way out to completion? Last breath in in Malasana, and empty. Next inhale, push through the feet, push through the legs, heel toeing the feet back to center. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back to your plank. Move through your chaturanga safely and strongly. You are more than welcome to skip it or upward facing dog. Moving into downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg goes long. Moving into pigeon pose, right knee to right wrist. Take a moment here. Let the top of the left foot lay on the mat. Making sure the hips are squared here so that right hip will want to sneak up. So make an adjustment. And the closer your heel is into your pelvis, the less sensation you'll feel. The more that you align the shin up with the short edge of the mat, the more sensation you'll feel. Meet yourself where you are today. Take a big inhale, come up onto your finger tops. And with your exhale, allow your chest like a drawbridge to slightly and slowly come down to the earth. And whenever you're ready, fully sink into this pose. So maybe you come all the way down, maybe your arms are on a block, maybe you stay up onto long arms. Whatever sensation feels good for you, meet me there. Let's stay here for a bit, taking a few rounds of breath and being in your body. Your next inhale, feel it travel through your nose, into your lungs, all the way down to the belly. And empty out the breath. Inhale. Stay in your body. And exhale, 
you'll release whatever you don't need. Fill your lungs up and empty out. Now continue with your breath, noticing the sensation in the right hip. It shouldn't be pinching, but just a sensation. So maybe this feels pretty tight for you today. Maybe sitting today for a long period of time may have created some additional tightness. You're more than welcome to rock into that right hip slightly, taking little micro movements. And take your fullest expression of the pose now. So maybe that really means melting down to the earth. Next inhale, come back up onto long arms and tuck the left toes under. Right foot meets the left, back of the mat, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg goes long. Exhale, left knee to left wrist, pigeon pose on the other side. Release the top of the right foot. Making sure we come into adjusting here so that the hips are squared. You may even want to gaze back at that right leg and lift up through the kneecap, setting the quad back down to the earth. And remembering to be in your body here, find some adjustment, take a full inhale. And when you're ready, come into this pose to the capacity at which you want to be there. The goal here is to be in your body, to feel it to allow every inhale to travel all the way down to extend the diaphragm and not rushing each exhale. Allow yourself to fully surrender into this pose, feeling sensation in that left hip. And noticing maybe the want or the need to get out of something that has this type of sensation and use your breath for comfort. Allow your breath to allow you to sink into this pose. And take a full breath in. And empty the breath out. And try not to rush it, breathe in. And empty. And breath in. Breath out. This time, rotate to the outside of that left hip. Swing that right leg around, coming into figure four. So you may need to adjust here, coming to mid mat. So the left foot will be planted to the inside of that right thigh. Hands on either side of the hips. Long spine here, crown of the head reaches up to the sky. Take an inhale, biceps by the ears. And with your exhale, a slight rotation to the right and surrender all the way down. Now again, you don't or aren't a better yogi if you can touch your toes. Maybe today, touching or meeting at your calf, you feel sensation, maybe just holding your quad. If you want a little bit more here, reaching for the toes, the more you plantar flex the feet towards your face, you'll feel more of a sensation in the hamstring. Breathing into this pose. And with your exhale, feeling a little bit closer to that right thigh. And just noticing the sensation, noticing the breath. Whatever thoughts are coming into the mind, as quickly as they come in, let them go. This is just the nature of your mind. From here, we're learning to control the mind, knowing that you don't have to allow those thoughts to stay. You can release them, stay in your body. Next inhale, come back up to long spine. Extend now the left leg long, bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Flex the foot towards your face, hands on either side of the hips. Long spine, stay in your body. Breathe in, biceps by the ears. And with your exhale, melt over that left thigh. Breathing in and empty. And again, this side may feel a little bit different, so you may need to meet yourself where you are. So maybe this is a side that you sat on today that felt a little awkward, maybe you sat cross leg, and this does not feel good to go as deep into this side. Meet your body where it is. You don't have to look the way I do in this pose. Just being in your body, being here now. Breathe in and sink into this pose. 
next inhale come back up to a long spine this time extend the right foot to meet the left plantar flex the feet towards your face hands on either sides of the hips inhaling biceps by the ears fingers reach exhaling into your staff pose reaching down toward the feet you can bring your hands to the shins again they can even meet up at the thighs allow your spine to remain long here so not collapsing into this pose breathing in and emptying feeling the sensation in each of your hamstrings breath in to remain present and empty to find more sensation. Last one, breathe in and release the breath. Next inhale, come back up to seated, bringing the feet and the heels together in a Baddha Konasana. You can bring your feet farther out if this is too much sensation to have the heels closer in to the pelvis. Interlace your fingers here, clasp them around the toes. Take a big breath in and with your empty bend through the elbows and come in to a reclining here, moving down towards the mat, feeling sensation on the inner hips. And if you'd like, you can release your arms forward, sinking into this pose and surrendering into this space, into here and now. And breathing in. And empty now. Breath in. Release the breath. Last one. Breathe in. And empty. Next inhale. Come back up to long arms. Take your hands to the outsides of the knees. Close your legs up like a ball. And from here, find the glutes to mid mat if you're not already there. Bringing your fingertips to the front of the mat. Reaching them. Palms up. Breathe in, and with your exhale, one vertebra at a time, melting down to the mat. Have your hands out to either side. You can bring your palms down to the earth. Take a breath in, and with your empty, drop the knees to the right. Gaze comes to the left for a soft supine twist. Inhale, knees and gaze back to center. Exhale, now drop the knees off to the left. Gaze comes to the right. Inhale, knees and face back to center. Bring your knees into your chest now, grabbing the outsides of the feet for happy baby pose. Take a few rocks side to side here and massage out the spine, the back body. Take a big breath in and empty. Next inhale, extend your legs straight up to the sky. You can have a bend in your knee. And with your exhale, bringing the legs slowly down to the earth, use your core here. And when you reach the bottom, coming into your Shavasana, let your legs get heavy. Palms up to the sky. Let your feet flop to either side of the mat. And breathing in. And with your empty, sinking into this pose. to go back to its normal pace and feel the body get heavy. Allow softening the space between your brows. Release any tension in your jaw. Feel the softness around the heart. And releasing tension that may be in the belly. Let the legs get heavy down to the earth and the arms get heavy. The whole body sinks down into the support of the earth. Yes. 
side, using your arm as a cradle for your head and coming into fetus position. Take a moment here to express gratitude to yourself for making your way to the mat today. And next inhale, coming up into lotus or seated pose. Bring your hands into prayer, Anjali Mudra, into your heart space. And then bring your thumb knuckles up to your third eye. Light me honors and vows to light in each and every one of you practicing today. We bow and say, Namaste. Namaste.